to life is Aisha I am in rare form right now I have absolutely nothing on my face at all so no brows no concealer no anything this is me naturally on me including my hair if you know you didn't already notice it but um yes today from the title as you can see this will be my attempt fingers crossed that it goes good but this will be my attempt at doing my own passion twist and i will be doing the rubber band and crochet method so i'm just going to do a quick little short intro go through with you certain steps and then actually go off camera and do majority of my head and come back on so i can show you a close-up of how i'm doing this so this is all trial and error for one i never do my own hair with the exception of when i wash and blow dry my hair which is definitely always a struggle but other than that i don't really deal with my hair my natural at all um so background i've never had like a relaxer or a perm or anything in my hair in all of my 26 almost 27 years of life okay so that's like a fun fact i guess um because a lot of people ask me how long have you been natural my whole life and enough of that rambling the first things i'm going to insert a clip now of what i recorded of the items that i purchased and bought online and some stuff i bought in store so watch that and i'll be right back of all the products that i'll be using in this video um this is the hair right here and i'll be taking it out the bag to show you during the video this is the shine and jam that i was recommended to use and the one that says extra hold because it'll focus yeah, the one that says extra hold because I do have very extremely thick hair and I want my hair to blend in nicely with the um, extensions. These are just some little hair accessories that I have because um, I want to accessorize my twists once they're finished. These are the rubber bands that I'll be using. That's the crochet hook. And that hook also came with um, this right here. It was like some different color um hair charms and rubber bands but obviously I am <laughs> 26 not 6 years old so I can't do anything with this and oh, I think I have 6 bags of hair this is the rest of it I got the let me get in here I got the 1B27 T1B27 color so it's like an ombre it starts out with this darker brown black color and it fades into the 27 the 27 blonde color but back to me okay so what i didn't show you in that box was these major three components which you definitely would need you you would need a wide tooth comb so can you see this yeah just the wide tooth comb i got this actually from the dollar tree so one dollar next a little rat tail comb which is from dollar tree and it actually came in a two pack so essentially i guess it was 50 cents a comb and another brush which is a powder brush or um this one really be called a wig brush i don't think anyway just a little paddle brush right here and also from the dollar tree one dollar there are different versions of this hair you can get you can get it from your beauty supply store there are so many different brands and versions of hair you can get but i chose this hair because it was the six pack bundle on amazon two my sister has an amazon prime account so i got it within two days three um it was the exact color that i wanted and um i wanted a longer length this is 18 inches i wanted 22 inches but i'm gonna try to finesse it a little bit and get that a uh, longer length out of it you'll see what i'm talking about soon let's just get into it so this is the back of my hair and i will be showing you how i began to part it and if i didn't mention you're gonna need yourself some scrunchies or some type of rub bigger rubber band to hold your top of your hair in place and also a little clip yeah i cannot part to save my life <laughs> okay huh? this is about where we are 
I'm gonna try to straighten this part out a little bit and I'll be right back. You have parted from ear to ear. Then you're going to split this section right here, you're gonna split this in half. Okay, so here we are. It's not completely straight, but yeah. So now we're going to divide this it, this back section into the squares that we're going to be doing our twisting. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned my Murray's Edge Wax. The there we go. This is gonna be, I'm gonna be using on my parting as well as my rubber bands. Some other smaller clips. And you'll see how I use these in just a moment. You know what I'm going to do? Because I feel like this is too much here. I'm going to part this section in half as well. So bear with me. So about that much of hair. Now I'm going to part this into, I should get three or four parts out of it. Uh, let's see. times with the rubber band and kind of tighten it a little bit but not too too tight and that's one right there and I will just repeat repeat the process from the right to the left side and that's basically what you have um, I will make this a little more straight across but um yeah these are my parts now of course all of them will not be this big. Actually, I'm really thinking about halving these, but I'm gonna see how much hair I have. Then, of course, I can go back in and do the back over. I'm gonna consider this process all the way to the top of my head, and then I'll come back to show you the, my whole head parted off. Just to give you like an example, these are, this, I mean, this is basically what I have. The squares where I have all my hair rubber bands off. I ran out of my little thing of edge wax, so what I did was I replaced that with my shea butter right here that I'm using to like smooth my hair at the roots before I place the rubber band on just because I don't want too much tension from the rubber band and I don't want to cause any unnecessary breakage. And like I said before, I am going around with the rubber band five to six times, just depends. If I have a bigger um, parting of hair, because all of these are not the same size. I think I'm on four and five. Do five with this one. But um, yeah, I've been doing going around five to six times. And there we go. And I'm looking down at my camera. The parting and everything took me about an hour and a half to two hours. Only because I did stop and take a couple breaks in between. Okay, I am back and I was almost about to say, welcome back to Life with Aisha. <laughs> but this is one video. I just feel like a total brand new person. Did my little makeup, you know, things like that. The first three or five were a bit rocky. I mean, it was all new to me. This crochet hook was hooking on to everything, but it was supposed to be hooking on to. A better close-up of how the hair actually looked. And... Like I said, it was 18 inches. And I did count some of these. They did not have a 22 in here. I think one of my packs had 22, but some of them had 20, meaning there was 10 braids or 11 braids per pack. So, yeah, that cheated me a little bit, but I only paid 20 some dollars for six packs. So, I guess I can't complain too much. One thing that I did run into, and I just want you all to see this. This right here, it's not made for people with thick hair. At least this size isn't. It worked really well, but empty empty i used a whole jar and i still have hair left mind you this right here ran out when i got to this area in here 
and I was just panicking like oh my god what am I going to do to finish my hair because I don't want to go back out and buy anything which I am going to go back out and get some of this tonight but let me explain why. I started using a combination of my Eco Styler Gel and my Shea Butter to kind of give it some slip but to give it some hold as well. Um, and I did that for all the hair and stuff over here and like some over here. So it worked decently. It just, the jam definitely made my hair have more of a stick to it. So the, um, extension, so this hair here stuck onto my natural hair just much better. But, um, all in all, not, not that bad, not that bad. And as you can see, this is the end of my fifth pack. I have a whole have a whole additional pack here that I will not have to use at all is I brush through each piece because I don't want my hair tangly I make sure that the hair is still secured by the rubber band and then I go straight into my styling products so the gel and the shea butter and what I have found is the easiest way to do it it's different variations of how people do them on here but what I found it easier is to go ahead and get it pretty like slick right here at the top of the hair so just using the eco styler gel but I would have been using the jam if I had some left just using that to kind of just you know get it pretty straight so this is what we're working with lengthwise okay and I take my two pieces and I kind of run my fingers down through them just to create like it's so it won't be so uniform. I kind of like stretch it and different things like that. Then I take the two pieces, separate them, and I kind of create because I wanted to make my length longer. So I found an even area and this is where I'm going to make my middle part. So essentially you're going to have one long piece, one short piece. And when I did that, I made a little tie here. No, when I tie, I made like, I twisted it some. So as you can see, it's not, it'll be easy for me to grab. Then you take the crochet hook. It's hard to do this using one hand. Take the crochet hook, you put it. On. Okay, so what you all did not see was me finishing it, break that twist off, it just, camera cut off and yeah had to charge it some this hook I always got caught like other pieces but anyway what I do is I hold the end of the hook down with my forefinger and then I push my rear here off to the side so it doesn't it's not in jeopardy of getting caught on to anything but I slide the hook all the way in and then the part right here where I have it twisted it we're going to use that to grab inside of the hook so hope you can see what I'm doing I have that grab thing then you close the hook push your hair over to the side then you let you pull the hair back underneath well if I can get it hold up now this will happen when I'm trying to show an example of what to do You know what, y'all? I know what I did. I got this hooked into my other braid to the other side. Start over. Start over. <laughs> start all the way over. You're going to put your hair right there underneath the hook. Close the hook. And bring that hair. After you have your loop here. Then you're going to, for one... You have two sides of hair here. So what if you have your loop here, you're gonna pull it through the loop. So that you pull it. Yep, I can get it through. I tell you when you're trying to demonstrate and show somebody something, that's when everything wants to go wrong. <laughs> but yeah, once you have it through the loop, then you're gonna pull these two ends here. So, pull that tight, then you're going to, your hair in the middle here, you're going to bring that in half, and pull that to either side as well. There you go. And then you can begin twisting. What I do is, I put a little bit of gel on both sides of my fingers here. 
Now you could just go ahead and smooth your hair down, but I found it easier to smooth it as I went. So. And let's begin twisting. So. And you're going to be twisting this as tight as you can get it. my camera cut off again and at that point I was just over it so what I ended up doing was running went ahead and ran to Walmart and picked up some more jam which um I'm gonna do a couple of these over but just for the sake of trying to help and get this video done I am all finished with my hair um I think it cut off at the end when I was um twisting my hair all the way down to the end and um basically this is just how the ends of the hair look it's that 27 color, but um, yeah, that's the end of my hair. Let me know if you have any more questions. Hopefully I covered everything. I know I didn't do a step-by-step -step tutorial, but just because it just wasn't possible. My hair looks, um, so give you an idea of how it looks. And wear different ways and different sides and different parts, or if I want, I will be wearing it. This is one of the ones, pieces I need to do over because it did get snagged a little bit. So let's just tuck that under. But um, here we go. Okay, now the last step that I'll be doing to my hair is adding some hair accessories. This is a close-up of what I did purchase. It just has little rings in it, little feathers. It has gold and silver um, little hair clips. So I'm going to be adding a couple of those in. Um, yes, I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. So as always remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.